Hey friends, and welcome back. My name is Michaela, and I have a 20 minute power flow class to share with you today. We'll be maintaining a decent pace within this flow, which is gonna offer you the opportunity to build up heat, energy, and strength within your physical body. But don't forget this practice is much more than just physical. Hop onto your mat with that sense of curiosity, an open mind, and just explore the shapes, have fun with it, take deep breaths, and give yourself exactly what you need. If you want some music to flow to, I've created a playlist and linked it below. You'll hit play as soon as we hop on the mat together. Okay, I'll see you there. Okay, my lovely friends, if you're following along to the playlist, we hit play in three, two, one, go. And Let's get started in a child's pose, balasana. So go ahead and bring your knees out nice and wide. Big toes come to touch and then sink your hips back to your heels. Reach your arms forward and let your forehead rest down on your mat. Maybe take some little wiggles within the shoulders and the hips to really let your body soften in. Maybe even a tiny micro bend in your elbows so that the forearms can rest heavy. And start by taking a deep breath in through your nose. Fill up your belly, your rib cage. A big exhale to empty it out. Good, stay here for another two full breaths. Letting yourself arrive into your body, into your breath, into your practice. And really just making that decision, choosing to be here for you with no expectation of how your body is going to feel today. Pulling in that sense of curiosity, that openness to explore, to explore yourself every time you hop on the mat. A dedication and just a moment to self-honor, right? To appreciate yourself. Slowly start to walk your arms and hands over and off the right side of the mat. Your left hand can rest over top of the right and let your forehead melt down once again. Send one deep breath into the left side line of your body and a big exhale. Good, and then travel through center, over and off the left side of the mat. Right hand can rest over top of the left. Arms and forehead rest down. One big breath into the right side line of your body. Breathe in. And breathe out. You got it, now find your way back to center. Tent your fingers and lift your forearms up, lift your chest up just a little bit, and then start to draw these circles around with your rib cage. Okay, so rotating in any direction, playing with an extension and a bend of your elbows to really help you feel out this fluidity. Good, now try and go in the other direction. A little bit of a massage for the hips. Movement through your torso, through your rib cage, breathe in and breathe out. Awesome, find your way back to center, come up to a tabletop position, bring your knees back in line with your hips, take an inhale and drop your belly, lift your tailbone, lift your chin. As you exhale, round through your spine and tuck your chin into chest. Good, inhale to lower the belly, feeling the front body expand, and exhale to round, pushing the floor away, space in your back body. Take one more, breathe in, and breathe out. Incredible, come back to a neutral tabletop and then tuck your toes, lift your hips up, reach them all the way back for your first downward facing dog. Feel free to pedal out your heels, shake out your head, spread your fingers wide and press down into the pointer fingers and the thumbs. Good, maintain that length in your spine, reaching the tailbone up nice and high. Inhale and exhale. 
gaze forward and start to walk towards the top of the mat. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Let your upper body drape heavy over top of your legs. Give your head a little bit of a shake. Good, inhale, halfway lift. Bring your hands to your shins. Create length in your spine. Exhale, fold, release it down. Inhale to stand all the way up. Reach up, gaze up. Exhale, hinge from the hips, forward fold, bring it back down. Take another halfway lift, breathe in, feel your low belly move up towards your spine, and exhale, fold. Now plant your hands, step one foot back, and then the next, find a high plank position, hold. Toes are tucked under the heels, slide the shoulder blades down your back body. Now you can stay right here, or you can bring it down to your knees, but I want you to try and lower slow, all the way down to your belly. Elbows are close to your side body, Ooh, all the way down. Inhale, lift your chest. Baby Cobra, just hold. So there's hardly any weight in your hands. Press down into the tops of the feet. Maybe even float your arms up to a cactus shape. Slight tuck of the chin into chest. Hold and breathe, inhale. And exhale. Good, bring your hands beside your chest, tuck your toes, lift your hips up, reach them all the way back, downward facing dog. Let's take two big breaths here, in through the nose, big sigh out. One more, inhale, and exhale. That's it, now gaze forward and step your right foot up and outside of the right hand. Keep your left hand down. Inhale, peel the right arm up and open. Find a nice big twist to the right side. You can always bring the left knee down if that feels nicer in your body today. Big breath in and exhale. Right hand comes down inside of your right foot. Step your left foot up and outside of your left hand. Bring your heels in, your toes turn out to 45 degrees. Bend your knees, come down into Malasana Yogi Squat. So your elbows can be right inside the inner thighs. Palms of the hands come to connect. Or you can lift it up a little bit higher and have your elbows resting on your thighs, okay? Where do you need to be? Big opening through the hips, inhale and exhale good now from here stand all the way up reach up gaze up heel to the feet back in line with the hips exhale forward fold bring it down halfway lift breathe in exhale plant the hands step it back find your plank of choice you're either on the toes or you bring it down to the knees chaturanga dandasana bend your elbows lower halfway or all the way inhale to lift your chest baby cobra or upward facing dog your thighs are not touching in up dog okay active legs exhale tuck the toes lift the hips up reach them all the way back downward facing dog make sure you're breathing connect with that breath inhale and exhale gaze forward and step your left foot up and outside of your left hand right hand stays down inhale peel the left arm up and open twist to the left side feeling that beautiful rotation through your spine strength in your legs remember the right knee can always come on down one breath in and a full breath out Good, left hand comes down inside of the left foot, right foot steps up and outside of the right hand, toes turn out slightly, bend your knees, sink the hips down, back into your squat. Find the length in the spine here if you're down in this variation with your elbows right in the inner thighs. If you're lifted a little bit higher, no problem at all, you'll have a little hinge forward of your chest. One breath, inhale and exhale. Now strong legs, push into your feet, rise up, reach up, gaze up, heel toe the feet back in line with your hips, and this time start to bend your knees, sink your hips back, landing in Utkatasana chair pose. Feet are right in line with the hips, okay? Toes point straight out in front of you. A deep hinge of your hips. Imagine you're hovering your bum on a chair behind you. Breathe in. Exhale, sink down another inch. That's it, you can always bring your arms right out in front, palms of the hands flip up if it feels nicer for your shoulders. Inhale, exhale, sink down another inch. Strong legs, push into the floor, rise up, reach up, inhale. Exhale, hinge from the hips and melt it down, forward folds. Halfway lift, breathe in. 
exhale plant the hands step it back and find your high plank just hold now drop your heels over to the right side and lift that left arm up for a side plank good now right knee can always come down right away if that's where you want to be you listen to your body okay what's it telling you what feels good and what feels strong for you today push out of that right shoulder lift out of the right side waist inhale and exhale left hand comes down find that high plank or you can always bring the knees down chaturanga lower halfway or all the way inhale push the floor away open up across your heart and your chest exhale hips go up lift them back downward facing dog good big breath in and a big breath out gaze forward and walk to the top of the mat forward fold feet are right in line with the hips start to bend your knees sink it down halfway reach the arms forward or maybe up overhead utkatasana chair pose round two good now i want you to lift your right heel up feel heavy in the left leg big breath in as you exhale sweep your arms back and behind you your chest comes towards your thighs inhale reach it forward lift your chest drop your right heel down lift the left heel up get really heavy in that right foot and strong in that right leg inhale exhale sweep it back inhale to reach up good ground your left heel down rise up stand up exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale plant the hands step it back find your plank Ooh, and then drop your heels to the left side peel that right hip so it's over top of the left right arm reaches up left knee can always come on down just make sure your left wrist is under your left shoulder lift out of the left side body draw your low belly in towards your spine inhale and exhale good right hand comes down level out your hips back into your plank from toes or knees lower chaturanga inhale lift your chest get strong in the legs cobra or up dog exhale hips go up reach them back downward facing dog one breath in and out on your next breath in right leg is going to reach up towards the sky feel your right hip in line with the left right toes are pointing down good now activate that right leg big time imagine you're reaching your heel up towards the sky slow shift forward right knee comes through towards your chest round your spine push the floor away and then try and get your right foot up in between your hands reach the arms forward rise on up you got a high lunge crescent warrior and your back heel is lifted good big inhale as you exhale cactus shape your arms bend your back knee lower down halfway inhale straighten through the back leg arms lift up good two more cactus shape your arms lower down halfway push into the floor rise back up arms up you're in that high lunge one more cactus and sink inhale to rise good now little hinge forward of your chest get really heavy into that right leg breathe in exhale hands come down in front of the right foot stand up into the right leg left leg lifts up for a standing split or a standing L shape. Good, left hip is down in line with the right. Big inhale and exhale. Now start to bend your right knee, sink your hips back, bend your left knee and try and tap your left knee towards your right calf muscle. Good, deep hinge of the hips back. Push into the right leg, straighten it and lift the left leg back to that standing L shape two more bend your right knee left knee comes to tap behind straighten through the right leg left leg lifts up one more bend it's like a one-legged squat yeah supported straighten the right leg left leg lifts up inhale exhale bend your right knee reach the left toes for the back of the mat drop your left heel down windmill the arms up and open warrior two virabhadrasana two right toes are pointing straight out in front of you you could draw a line from your front heel to the inner arch of your back foot big inhale 
and exhale to sink a bit deeper. Another breath in. As you exhale, right elbow comes down on top or inside of the right thigh. Left arm reaches up, or you might reach over top for the front edge of your mat. Good. Now, if you want a little bit more, keep this lift from right side waist to right thigh and just reach the right arm forward so it runs parallel with the left arm. Keep that right side waist nice and strong, strong legs, inhale and exhale. Good, rise all the way back up, arms out wide, warrior two, big inhale. Exhale, hands down to frame your front foot. Right foot goes back to meet the left, high plank or you're down on your knees. Chaturanga with curiosity, come on down, bend your elbows. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, hips go up, reach them all the way back. Down dog, breathe in and breathe out. Next inhale, left leg lifts up. You're doing awesome, my friend. Keep going, squeeze that left leg tight. Slow shift forward, control this movement. Round your spine, hold for a moment, push the floor away. Try and get your foot up in between your hands. Reach the arms forward, rise up. High lunge, crescent warrior. Again, that back heel is lifted. Strong in the lower body, here we go. Inhale, cactus shape the arms. Exhale, bend your back, knee lower down halfway. Straighten through the right leg, arms reach up. Let's do it again, cactus, and bend your back knee. Push into the floor, rise all the way back up. One more, bring it down, down, down. Rise all the way back up, inhale. Exhale, little tilt forward of your chest, getting heavy into that left leg. Big breath in. Exhale, hands down just in front of the left foot. Stand up into the left leg. Right leg lifts up for that standing L shape. Right hip is in line with the left. Imagine you're pushing your right heel towards a wall back and behind you. Now big breath in. Exhale, bend your left knee. Right knee comes behind to tap that left calf muscle. Deep hinge of the hips back. Straighten through the left leg, reach the right leg back up. Standing L shape. Do it two more times. Bend the left knee, sink it down any amount. Just think about a one-legged squat. Fingertips stay grounded. Rise back up, right leg lifts. One more, bending the left knee. Right knee taps behind. Straighten through the left leg, right leg reaches up, breathe in. Exhale, right toes reach for the back of the mat, ground them down, drop your right heel, rise on up. Warrior two, bending into that left knee, finding depth in this posture. Big breath in and out. Here we go, now inhale, exhale, left elbow comes down on top or inside of the left thigh, right arm can reach up or you might reach over top of your ear. Maybe that left arm starts to lift and it runs parallel with that right arm. Press equally into both feet, engage through that left side body, inhale and exhale. Awesome, all the way back up, arms wide, gaze forward, breathe in. Exhale, hands down to frame the front foot. Step right foot back to meet the left, finding your high plank or from the knees. This time, lower all the way down to your belly. Slow and controlled. Good, once you land here, tense your fingers out as wide as the mat. Have your elbows lift so they stack over top of your wrists. Bring your feet out as wide as the mat. Inhale to push into the fingertips, lift the chest. Exhale, bend your elbows, lower all the way down. One more, breathe in to lift. Exhale to lower. Now reach your left arm over to the left side, a half T shape, bend your right knee, peel over onto the left hip, let your head rest down. Right hip is stacking somewhat over top of the left. Smooth and lengthen out your breath. Just a moment to slow everything down. <laughs> and to notice the energy that you created within yourself. Gently come back through to center. Reach your right arm, right arm over to the right side. Palm of the hand down, wrist in line with the shoulder. Bend your left knee and peel over onto that right hip. Left hip stacks somewhat over top of the right and your head can rest down on the mat. Good, big breath in. Big breath out. 
Find your way back to center. Hands beside your chest. Gently press yourself up. Sit back on your heels. Take a moment to sit here with length in your spine. Maybe hands rest on your thighs, your belly, rib cage, your heart. If it feels okay, close your eyes. Let your shoulders soften. And maybe even let yourself smile because it feels so damn good to show up for yourself through movement and through the intention and purpose that comes with the practice of yoga. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for being here. Thanks for trusting me to guide you through your movement. As always, I can't wait to see you again. Have a lovely rest of your day.